Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. The true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who this world ignorantly calls God. The true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus. Baha is in the name. Chakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. I am the brother of Yawanathon, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Camp. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And as you see on the screen, it will come down to two options very soon, man. Okay? And hey, the time is very soon. Okay? The two options that you're going to be presented with is literally taking the RFID all right, which is the Karagma going back to the scriptures, hey, which is the chip, okay, taking the, uh, the Karagma or being put to death, man. Okay, and these are the options that's going to be presented very, very soon, man. Whether people want to believe it, all right, whether people want to believe it or not, okay. And this is why, hey, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh hey, the Heavenly Father has put in on the apostles and elders, of great millstone, he has put it on a spirit, all right, to, to, to bring out this information, okay, to bring out that uh, uh, the, uh, the karagma is the rice grain, the microchip, okay, and these are the options that's gonna, you know, be presented in these last days, man, very, very soon, okay, and um, I wanted to just bring out this first precept, uh, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, you know, which the Apostle Paul, you know, it says what? It says, Thou therefore endure hardness. Okay? It says to endure hardness. And when you go into that word, going back into the blue letter, play it right quick. Strong's G2553. Karkapatheo. Karkapatheo. Okay? And it means to suffer. All right? Which is endure. Okay? To suffer. All right, to suffer evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted, okay, endure hardness, all right, like the scripture says, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, man, because this is going to be the time of testing, okay, the great time of testing, okay, to see who serves Yahweh Bashmah Shah and, and, and to see who serves Yahweh Bashmah Shah not, okay. So in the times that we're entering into, uh, you have to uh, endure hardships, troubles, and you're going to have to be inflicted, man. Because, again, this is the time of testing uh, to truly see uh, who's about the Heavenly Father and who is not, okay? Because they're going to take away a lot of uh, uh, conveniences, you know, one being you, you being able to, you know, just be in your house. You know, you're going to take away you being able to sleep in your bed. You know, you getting up and going to your fridge. Okay, that's why the book is Second Ezra, the 16th chapter and the 40th verse. You know, let's grab it right quick. <clears throat> Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 40. Okay, and it reads, O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth, you see. And in those evils, right, evils going into bad times be as pilgrims upon the earth. And a pilgrim, you know, has no resting place. So we're going to be moving from place to place. OK, so that's why the scripture says, oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. OK, and right now hey, we're supposed to hey, be preparing ourselves, not prepping and, you know, buying bags and you know what they call it bug out bags you know and i'm not saying it's wrong hey, but you're really supposed to be prepping yourself a hey, through the spirit and power you have all right watching these lessons all right and, and, and really getting edified all right edified means to build up and hey, not just watching these lessons but praying to you how about you know fasting it's gonna be times where hey, you might go a day or two without eating a lot of food, man, okay? And again, this being a time of testing, Yahweh Bashmael Shah is really going to try the hearts of his men, women, you know, children, okay? Because it's going to be uh, um, advertised to you, 
You know, if you if if, if you're hungry, take the chip. You know, if you want to join back in the society, take the chip. All right, so we gotta mentally prepare ourselves for the times we're coming into. Like the scripture says, "Make ye ready to thy battle," and then and and those evils be as prisons upon the earth. All right, because it's gonna be bad times, man. You see the apostles and elders going into the guillotines a lot. Okay, and that's the two options where hey, you're going to be presented a guillotine for not taking this, uh, for not taking a chip. All right. And you're going to be presented the chip. Okay. So that's why the book of Revelation, the 20th chapter, and let's grab it. Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20, verse four. And it reads, and I saw thrones and they and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. You see the souls, okay, that were um, beheaded, you know, for the witness of Yahweh Shah. Okay, and the way those men are going to be beheaded by the way of a guillotine, man. All right. And it says, and for the word of the Most High, which have not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years, you see. So again, you not taking this chip at Yahweh Shah is promising what? It says, and they reigned, they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach a thousand years, you know, meaning really immortality. But nevertheless, hey, these are the options that's going to be presented in these times and this is going to be the great time of testing and this is very serious that's why you camps but you know you other camps not you know pushing that the 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 motb is the microchip it's going to be a lot of blood on your hands man okay because again like the scriptures say esau is going to come down with great wrath man okay and the scripture speaks about how the time is short you know, I believe that's First Corinthians, the seventh chapter. Brethren, the time is short, man. All right, the time is short. Esau, Edom is going to come down like a flood. You know, the enemy shall come in like a flood. That's in Isaiah, the 59th chapter. All right, that hey, this ain't no, it's not the time to be playing around, man. Play time is over. You know, it's, it's time to be a preparing yourself for the times we coming into, man. Because hey, it's about to get real. It's about to get real very fast and it's going to be very serious man okay revelation chapter 12 verse uh verse 11 okay and it reads and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimonies and they love not their lives unto death man you know quoting the elder apostle gabar hey brothers we haven't truly lived man okay well, you know we're just how you say it surviving all right but we haven't truly lived man Okay, so like the scriptures say, they love not their lives unto the death, man. All right, and that's the spirit, hey, that's the spirit brothers in, man. You know, mourning to Yahweh Bashim al Shah, crying unto the Lord, okay, to deliver us, to vindicate us so we could truly live. All right, so at the end of the day, a hey, brother's gonna have to lay their life down, you know, for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, and then it's going to be, you know, praying to the Lord hey, to put the spirit on us so that it could be a light thing unto us, man. You know, ain't no, no, no problem because, again, we truly haven't lived, man. All right, so like the scripture says, and they love not their lives unto the death, man, because a men of the Lord are going to have to lay their life down for Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. And I'm the one, and I'm bringing out this uh, message, man. So I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, okay, verse 12, and it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and for the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, okay, having great wrath. All right, that wrath is going to be him trying to push his MOTB, and yeah, that wrath is going to be him trying to present a guillotine, man, okay, draconian measures. All right. And then why? Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. All right. These devils know that their kingdom is over with, man. OK, so this is why it's going to be such a perilous time. It's going to be a, a times of pandemonium, all out chaos, man, because these devils know that they have but a short time, man. All right. And they're still upset. 
forefather Esau still upset that our forefather Jacob supplanted them for the blessing. All right, but let's get the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. Okay, 1 Corinthians, the seventh chapter. 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse, um, verse 29. And it reads, but, it's, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. Okay, it remaineth. So the time is short. All right. We're seeing a prophecies. It's a prophecy, a prophecy train, man. Prophecies coming to pass. Prophecies coming to pass, man. All right. We're seeing that the days are being shortened. We are already about to enter into uh, the, the Pesach. You know, we're about to enter into March. So time is, you know, just the other day it was January. Now we're already heading in March. The days are trimming. Okay. So the time is getting shortened. You know, you got uh, earthquakes in diverse places. You got the rumors of war with the Medes, you know, and, and, and the Babylonians. All right. Not to mention, you know, it's, you know, it's a lot of things going on, man. OK, it's a lot of things going on. All right. That's why um, in the book of Ephesians. What does it say in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, starting at verse 11, and it says, put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil right the trickery all right because esau's main thing is going to try to a uh, deceive you he's going to try to trick you okay so we got to put on put on the whole armor of the most high okay why because let's get um ephesians Yep, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, and it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Right, circumspect. When you go into the word circumspect, it goes into being sober. You know, we got to be spiritually sober in these times. Verse 16, redeeming the times because the days are evil. We got to redeem the time. Be aware of the time, man. Okay, make sure that we're not bullshitting. You know, we're not pussyfooting. Okay. We got to make sure that hey, we're on hey, we're on our stuff, man. We're not being mediocre, all right, because this time of testing is coming. All right, Yahweh Bashim al is getting ready to try the hearts of his men, you know? And it says, verse 17, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Understanding what the will of the Lord is, right? And under a understanding that is knowing that, Hey, the MOTB is all love Yahweh Bashim al Shah, and he's going to test. Hey, it's going to be the great time of testing, man. Okay. Now, um, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. There was another one that I wanted. Okay. In the book of First, um, let me see. First Timothy, the sixth chapter. First Timothy, chapter six, verse twelve. And it reads, fight the good fight of faith, man, you see? So we have to fight the good fight of faith, okay? And it says, lay hold on eternal life, or unto thou, ha or unto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. Okay, we have to lay hold on eternal life. And what does that back up to? What does that line up with, Salakia? The book of Revelation, chapter 3. Okay, starting at verse 10, and it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay, the hour of temptation. Temptation goes back onto a trial, goes back into a test. And it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, man, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold thy fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, going back into holding on eternal life, man. Fighting a good fight of faith, man. All right. And, you know, when you go into boxing, boxing is 12 rounds, man. Okay. So we have to, like the scripture says, he that endureth unto the end, you know, he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, roughly paraphrasing. So we got to fight the fight unto the end, man. OK, and there's no repenting from taking the karagma. There's no repenting from taking it, man. All right. So a hey, gird up your loins and prepare your minds, man, because this is going to be the options, the two options very, very soon.
So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, or Kapadash, that belong to the apostles and elders of great mills, and every well, peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, Kwame, Asha'Allah, Shalom.